Hey there guys, Victor with Victor Vector JKU and today I want to go over my hardtop hoist system that I put in. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so today I kind of wanted to go through how I designed and constructed my home built uh, hardtop hoist system for my 2015 JKU. So there's a lot of different products that are out there and offered online. Um, you have some that are manual, they use a hand crank and you have to crank it up. There's some that just use straps. There's a lot of people that do like a very low cost version that's maybe, I don't know, they get away with like 20, 20 to 50 bucks or something. They put four eye bolts in the ceiling and then they just use some uh, of the cargo straps. And I actually did do that with my uh, 2014 JKU when I had it a few years back. But I wanna go with something a little bit uh, simpler, a little bit easier, and plus uh, my garage now, it has a high ceiling, so it's a little bit easier not have to get up on a ladder, climb up there and try to hook it and do all that stuff. So I'm gonna run through what I did with my system here. So all in all, I think it cost me around like 300, 350 bucks or something like that. So to start off, I basically just tapped in off the power supply for the uh, garage door opener. I just ran it down over the here and I set up my Harbor Freight, I don't know, like a several hundred pound winch. Uh, I can't think of what exactly the rating is on, on it off the top of my head. But um, so that is what I use for bringing my uh, top up and down. Got my controller right here, just hung off to the side to keep it out of the way. So when we're parked in the garage, we don't have to worry about banging our heads into it. Um, and then I also built an H frame. And so right now you can actually see it's dual purpose. It can also hold my soft top in its bag. So that's what I got hanging up there right now. So made the H frame. That's what the winch hooks up to with the cable. And then as a safety support, because it's never a good idea to rely on a winch to hold a load overhead for an extended period of time, because if the gearbox fails, that thing's gonna come crashing down. So what I ended up doing here is I actually put six eye bolts in the ceiling, two for the winch line in the center, and then there's four, one in each corner. And those are where I have my four toe straps actually hooked up off of. And those are what holds the weight of the soft top or the hard top while it's suspended. That way the winch is not holding any load while it's up in the air. So I'll raise up the winch a little bit first, unhook the four safety points. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna pull the soft top down. I'll give you a little bit more of a walkthrough with the system that I did for all the rigging. because I got all this extra strap. Just because I have a huge, super long strap. What I need to do is I need to get one that's actually about the right length to do this because I definitely don't need to have it go on loop and through like four times like I do right now. Alright, just like that. I'm ready to pull the soft top right on out. Pretty nice about this, it's got a nice little grab handle here so I can go ahead and hold on to it as I'm doing this. And lift her on for All right guys, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and kind of walk you through the rigging that I did and H-frame construction. That way you guys gonna get an idea of what I did here. So um, I guess start off with, we'll go ahead and talk about the winch rigging. So as you can see up above, so I have the winch. It has two lines that come out, run up to these two pulleys mounted to the ceiling. I threw in the uh, two by 12 up there just to give it a little bit better of a mounting surface because I wasn't gonna land right on the stud. You can actually see the stud where the bolts are and on the other side. I wanted to make sure I got into one of the rafters. Uh, that way I had a good strong support there. So put in the two by 12, that gave me a good platform to work with, gave me ability to move. And if I needed to relocate them at all, I had that flexibility. Important thing here to note is notice it's almost perpendicular coming out of the winch. That is very important for this uh, circumstance because at first I had the winch mounted further back. You can actually see the mounting holes back over here. And what happens is it runs on the edge of the spool 
and it grinds, it makes a terrible noise, and it just really sucks, and doesn't really spool well, and it just, it's bad. So I redid that, I moved it over, um, I then put in this system here, and then that goes out to either pulley mounted to the eye bolts up above. Those guys then run down to the two center hooks on my H-frame, and then I actually connect the two wires with their hooks. And so the reason for this is initially I tried to do a one point system and it would come up through all the way down around, come back through and then connect back to the winch. So it's basically set up with a two to one pull ratio, kind of like if you're running a snatch block. But what I found was it did not raise the top level and that sucked. It was frustrating. And I always had to kind of pull and adjust this guy to make him so he'd come up and down level. So talking with my supervisor at work, and he's like, it's your line speed. You just gotta fix your line speed. And he's like, just run two lengths of cable from the spool out to either end and it'll fix it. Did that, and what do you know? It goes up and down really straight. You already saw it come down with the soft top really straight. You'll see it when I put this hard top back up. So yeah, um, and then I also put in these two safety straps here. So this keeps the H-frame not to come down too low. And in fact, since the time that I designed this system, I actually put a three and a half inch lift on so I'm going to have to adjust these straps up a little bit because right now where it is, I will actually bang it off of the back of my hardtop when I back the Jeep in. So I'm going to have to raise it up a little bit so I can clear that as I come in. But yeah, so my H-frame, I use one and a half inch by I think 180 wall uh, square tubing. Um, I think I have uh, about 45 inch lengths on either side. And then I think I have another 45 in the center. I'll verify that measurement and I'll put it on the caption down below here um, in case I'm wrong and then I threw in four eye bolts into my H-frame one here 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 and here and so that's where I use for my lift points um, I actually got the Topsy product hardtop hoist system so I'll show you when we hook it up but I have off of the glass hinge on the rear I actually have two brackets and these guys these little carabiners will actually clip into it um, this does system is designed specifically for the JK uh, hardtop. They also have one for the JL, I believe. And so I was pretty excited about this because rather than have to run a strap all the way through and damage the weather stripping in the rear, I can just hook onto this and I don't have to worry about it. Finish off, I uh, put some foam around the uh, steel tubing just to protect the hardtop. That way I don't end up damaging it if I bring it down and it lands on the hardtop. The front, we use again a strap. Topsy product as well again. And this guy just runs over the roll bar, um, underneath the hard top on the front, uh, basically right where the, uh, the rear window comes up and the top corner of the rear of the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this guy up a little bit. I'm gonna back the Jeep in and we'll show you how the top comes off with it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you on the front side here real quick first. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking up this guy. So we'll just hook him there and we're going to run this guy up under, under the top, over the roll bar there. Hopefully I can get this to feed through and not fall right back down. Sorry for the camera there. Alright, feed that guy through and I just want to make sure this strap's straight. Of course, wants to give me a problem. There we go. We'll go and toss that to the other side. We'll grab him from over there. All right. Again, we'll just make sure the strap is straight, no twists in it. Go ahead and send him up over the roll bar, under the hard top, hook him on there. Good to go. We'll leave the door open just a little bit. And now what we have is on the back. So these are the Topsy product hooks right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook those. And here's the other one right here. Go and hook him. And that is it. So we are all hooked up. 
ready to go and lift this guy and it ends up that my straps are actually set to the correct height so i don't have to worry about adjusting them i could adjust them up a little bit because i do have a little extra slack here but it's not a real big deal and i think i'm a little bit far right or yeah to the right right now so the top's not going to lift straight off so i'm probably going to end up have to set the camera down here for you guys and i will go ahead and uh, man the top and the hoist as i go all right, so guys, so the first thing you want to do before you go take the hard top off, I've already done all the prep work. I've, un I've removed the eight screws, the three from either side in the back here, plus the one up on top uh, on both sides. Um, you want to make sure that you have your electrical disconnected for your wiper. Um, and then you also want to make sure you disconnect your washer fluid line as well. Um, because it would sure suck to be poisoning this up all of a sudden, get some tension, and then you break something there. So don't want to have that happen. Next thing you want to do is make sure both your doors are open, at least a little bit. That way you're not binding up on the seals as you're trying to lift it. And make sure your rear door is open. Um, definitely optional to have this guy up. I don't need to have him up because I'm using the Topsy products here, so I don't have to worry about that. I can leave my, uh, my top down. We just want to make sure we don't have any pressure on the seal over here, so I'm going to make sure the door is open good here. And then again, like I said, my top's probably going to shift a bit to the left because I am a little bit off center with how it arcs. But we're going to go and bring her up and see how she does. There we go. <laughs> that is it. How sweet, simple, and smooth is that? Top comes up nice and lovely. You can see it's a little off kilter right now. That's because, again, I mentioned that my uh, I was a little bit off when I had parked the Jeep, so all I have to do to adjust that is I'll just have to uh, adjust those straps a little bit. So I'll do that when I get the Jeep out of the way and I get the ladder up to put up my safety straps. So we'll go ahead and do that here in just a second. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the top back down so I can adjust it as I make one. So I'm going to go ahead and put my safety straps up real quick, um, release the tension on the winch, and then we're done. Alright, I got my four safety straps connected, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the... Uh... Take the slack off the winch there, and we are done. So that is basically how the uh, top sits. Got enough room to be able to walk under, don't have to worry about hitting my head. All right, so as you can see, the top's nice and well supported. I have my strap up there that's connected in, so I have that eye bolt up above holding it. And then again on this side, I have another strap with the eye bolt, strap with the eye bolt, and finish off right up there again, strap with the eye bolt. Hey guys, I almost forgot to mention one thing also that I, the reason why I put the extra straps up there is so if it wasn't hung with those straps, I'd be pivoting about the center line. So I'd be pivoting about the center right here by the winch cable. And that would make this super wiggly. But as you can see, it is super sturdy. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting it pretty good and notice how little it moves. So it's super, it's super strong where it's at. Um, so... That wraps that up. And that just leaves me with the Jeep with the top off. We can go ahead and throw on the soft top. And I am good to go for the weekend. It's supposed to be like, I think it's supposed to be about like 80 degrees. It got up almost to 80 degrees here in uh, Malpe uh, today. And supposed to be getting up into near 80s again tomorrow. Hitting up a uh, Reader Pit ORV uh, over in Gold Bar, Washington. So going up there with a friend, hoping to have a fun day out wheeling. And uh, yeah, so appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch the video. I hope you got some uh, good input out of my uh, hardtop hoist. I'll look to try to put the uh, parts list that I did in the video description below. Love to help out anyone with getting a system like this set up for themselves. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, give it a like. Um, Leave me comments, leave any questions, provide me feedback. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Otherwise, we are Victor Vector JKU, and we're taking on this build and the trails with both direction and magnitude. All right.
Have a good day, guys. We'll catch you next time.